OK, so the next step is to increment our score every time you collect a teapot. So this works um, just as you saw in my game when you collect the fuel cans, it increments your score. So we need to go to our first person character, go to edit, and we need to add a new variable. We're going to call this score and it's going to be an integer. Compile that. You can see its default value is zero. We'll save and close. Okay, so we'll now go to our teapot. And if we open the teapot uh, event, so you hit the teapot, it plays the sound. But before we destroy it, we want to cast to our first person character. There we are. So the teapot has hit the first person character. We'll hook that in as our next step. What we need to do is we need to get uh, the value of score. So we'll type in score, go get score from first person character. There we are, lovely. And as first person character uh, is rooted into here. So this will get the score from the first person character. We now need to set the score. So every time you hit the teapot, the idea is that it increments our score by one. So we need to type plus integer. And you can sort of see what's starting to happen here. Once you hit the teapot, um, you get the current score. You add one to that score. You then set the score to, um, to the current score plus one. And we also need to hook the target for set into our first person character. So we set the score. We increment the score by one every time we hit the teapot. Type print string because I want to see if this has worked. So we're going to output the current score to the console um, once we have hit the teapot. And we'll just drag the, the pink into the green and it will convert our score integer to a string. So we'll save that and let's find out. So there we go. You can see in the top left corner, as we hit the teapot, it incremented our score by one and it printed that to the console. And there we go. That is how you add a basic scoring system in Unreal Engine.